kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part six of my video series on advanced native ads of AdMob using Android Studio using Resector View. All right, guys. So, I think that will be our last part. So, in this video, in this part, I will try to try to complete the the coding. And so, I will try to run the app. And let's see if I get any error or if i successfully run the app all right so here we have this ad unified so you so you need to click on alt enter if you are using windows and click on create layout resource file okay and then you need to click on okay then again you need to click on right enter and click layout resource file you need to create that and there when you will see okay so here we have still scored some error yes because we did not initialize our or i mean wrote our code so what we can do is here we have this menu item container so let me see if i have the call view okay so i already have integrated the call view dependency so instead of this uh, constraint layout i will use the call view and then we will have uh, we need to set the height to wrap content then we can set the id and it will be menu item card view and then the orientation will be vertical then we will have the card elevation and it will be 2 dp and card uh, corner radius and it will be also be 2 dp and then we will have the relative layout of match parent and wrap content then inside this relative layout we will have the image view and it will be wrap content and wrap content then we will have the margin right it will be 6 dp and okay so i think that should be minimum 16 dp then we can say parent left and it will be true and then we will have the parent top it will also be true and we have the margin end and it will be equal to 16 dp and we have a line parent start it will be true okay so after this we will we can set the id as menu item image then we will have the text view it will be web content and web content then we will have the id as menu i uh, item name then we will have margin right to 6 dp then we have align parent top it will be true then we have the two right off and it will be menu item image then we will have text size to 20 sp then margin and it will be a dp then to end off it will be menu item image okay so now here we will have another text view and it will be of menu uh, price so it will be web content and web content then we can set the id as menu item price then we can have margin right it will be 16 dp 
then we will have below and it will be below menu item name then we have to write off it will be menu item image and we have margin end to 16 dp then to end off it will be menu item image and that's it then we will have another text view it will be wrap content and wrap content then we have margin right to adp then we will say it will be below the menu item name then we can say to write off and it will be to write off menu item price and let's set the id to menu item category and then we will have the last one and it will be the description so here we can have the description as text view it will be web content web content then we have the id as menu item description then margin right to adp then we have below it will be below menu item price and it will be to write off and it will be menu item image and it will be margin bottom adp all right and finally we can uh, i can set the text let's have the and here it will we have we will have the category then here we will have Thirty dollars, and then we will have here name of ad. Okay, and instead of this source, so we can say map map IC launcher. Okay, so this ad will. look like oh, oh sorry so basically the menu item will look like this it will have the name of ad then the price category and the description so after this we now need to go to ad unified and for the ad unified we will also have the first of all the card view so for that we can say okay so here instead of this match parent we will have the wrap content here then we can say margin bottom it will be 10 dp then we can say orientation it will be vertical card corner radius will be 2 dp card elevation 2 dp okay so inside this we will use the unified native ad view and it will be match parent and wrap content then we can set the id as ad view and inside this unified native ad view we will have a linear layout and it will be match parent and wrap 
content then we will set the gravity it will be center and we can set the background to triple f mean height will be 50 dp and orientation will be vertical all right so inside this linear layout we are going to have a text view and it will be web content web content then we can set the id as add attribution then we can say gravity it will be left then we can set the text color that will be white then text size 12 dp and we can set the text as add then we can set the background then we can set the width to 15 dp and height to 15 dp alright so we have this text view then we will have a new another linear layout and it will be match parent and wrap content then it will be orientation will be vertical then we can say padding left it will be 20 dp padding right will be 20 dp padding top will be 3 dp then we will have another linear layout it will be match parent wrap content then we will have the orientation as horizontal so inside this linear layout we will have an image view and it will be 40 dp and the height will also be 40 dp then we can use adjust view bounds and it will be true then we can say padding it will be 5 dp all right then we will have another linear layout now its width and height will be wrap content then we can set the orientation to vertical and then we can set the, our text view it will be match parent and wrap content then we can set the text color that will be this and we can set the text size to 16 sp then we can set the text style it will be bold and let's set the id as add headline okay then we will have another linear layout it will be match parent and wrap content then inside inside this linear layout we will have the advertiser id and the rating bar so for the advertiser advertiser id let's have the text view wrap content and match parent then we set the gravity it will be bottom then we set the text size it will be 14 sp then text style will be bold and finally we can say id will be add advertiser all right and finally we will have the rating bar here and it will be wrap content and wrap content then we will have is 
indicated it will be true then we can say num stars it will be 5 and then we can say step size it will be 0 0.5 and let's set the style and it will be android colon attribute slash rating bar style Alright, so we, we will close our all the linear layouts, I mean three linear layouts. And after this, this linear layout, we will have another layout. Alright, so here we can say linear layout, it will be match parent and wrap content then we can set the orientation to to vertical and then we can say text view it will be wrap content wrap content then we will have the margin right it will be 20 dp then margin end it will be 20 dp text size it will be 12 sp and the id will be add body okay then here we will have the media view it will be 250 dp and the height of it will be 175 dp and then we can set the margin top to 5 dp and let's set the id as add media alright and finally we can set our gravity it will be center horizontal okay then again we will have the linear layout here and it will be wrap content and wrap content then we can have the gravity it will be end and let's set the orientation to horizontal then we can say padding bottom it will be 10 dp and then padding top we need to set it also to 10 dp then inside this linear layout we will have another text view that will be for the price so it will its width and height will be wrap content as usual and then we can have padding it will be 5 dp and text size will be 12 sp and finally we can set the id as add price all right then here we will have the add store text view and it will be wrap content and wrap content then padding will be 5 dp and text size will be 12 sp and id will be add store all right so all these will be closed and we now have a layout for our ads okay and from there you will see that we don't have these four icons so let me see uh, what can we do about them okay yes yeah, so i forgot to add the button here so yes so after this uh, store text view we will have a button and it will be wrap content and wrap content then we will have the gravity as center then we will have the text size to 12 sp and let's set the id to add call to action 
all right so now if we go back and you can see we have this gone and again we now need to have the add stars and i forgot to add the id for our rating bar yes so let's have add rating sorry add stars and then we have the add icon so i think we forgot to add for their image view yes so here we have this icon so now i think the all the errors are gone we have these two and here we in order to have it we can now include this package name and yes now all the errors are gone all right now let's uh, let me see the user permissions and here we will have the user permission of internet all right so now let me connect my phone with the laptop and i show you the output and i hope that it will work Let's open the Sightseeing app. And I will provide the uh, call link in my video description. I don't know why it is uh, taking a lot of time so in the meanwhile let me see the coding for our here we use this add media then we code this return and then we have this recycler view and I think these are these should have been removed Okay, so now the app is running and the app code crashed. So let me see where they did it crash. Okay, I think I did not initialize the ad view. Yes, I think.
okay so i will just copy these two lines in my strings folder and now i will try to run the program again and it, it again got crashed so let me see where i am doing the mistake okay so i will just copy that and i will just use it here and now let's try to run the code and let's see let's try it again and now i hope that it will run okay so now the app is running good and okay so now you can see the ads here yes we have successfully integrated this in our application all right guys so i hope that you have uh, now learned something that you can easily customize the ad mode ads and use the native ad so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye